good Saturday morning, everybody. Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic. And uh, we are here every Saturday morning, which is why we're here again. Uh, but uh, we, we, we haven't, uh, we're not here for no reason. We've been summoned. Uh, Thick Mike is back. Thick Mike is back and he has yet another request for us, folks. Thick Mike wants us to watch Baseball Bugs, and so we shall. Although, I gotta be honest, I probably would have watched this cartoon anyway. <laughs> this is a good one. This is this cartoon made me um, made me realize I liked hot dogs because this cartoon was uh, one of those cartoons where uh, you don't see bugs uh, eating the carrot like he usually does. He when we first see him, he's he's heckling um, the gas house gorillas. I think I got that right. He's heckling them, and uh, he's eating a hot dog, if memory serves. There was, a, there was a cartoon that came out after this that, for all intents and purposes, was pretty much the same cartoon, which was, uh, which is the Frizz Freeling thing, you know. Uh, it's called Gone Batty. Um, according to Michael Barrier, uh, the, um, my, he's a, f a historian, if you don't know who he is, uh, he does a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, commentaries on the, uh, the, the discs. He's, he's the guy who sounds, he's the one who, uh, has that really stoic, kind of takes the fun out of, <laughs> out of cartoons. Well, okay, maybe it's not a hot dog. It's a hot dog with a bun. So I'm a liar. So I'm a big stinking liar. But according to Barrier, um, there was a, a change in formula around this time for the Bugs cartoons. Uh, early Bugs cartoons depict Bugs as haplessly stupid pushovers whom are easily duped, such as the Elmer Fudd and Beaky Buzzard. And in this film, and others by Freeling, the enemies are dangerous, brutal, and aggressive. Um... And I gotta tell you, as as much as I don't like Frizz sometimes, he was he was right about that when he you know he he said that a couple times about where he you know he came to uh, create Yosemite Sam because you know Bugs was uh, like like Barrier says Bugs is always up against these these half wits, but uh, really as we've seen. You know, somebody Sam is uh, a bit daft himself, too. There was a... There was some... Uh, TV uh, special, um, the uh, what do you call it? Bugs Bunny's 50th anniversary or something like that, where they uh, did this with uh, Tommy Lasorda. Tommy Lasorda had, you know, he's like, oh, I put Bugs on the team, and he just he he it wasn't entertaining. He won the entire game. It's like apparently no one. No one who worked on Space Jam saw this cartoon, apparently. Nobody who worked on Space Jam saw any cartoon, apparently. Bugs just happens to have pinup girls in his, in his uniform pocket. <laughs> but um, there's a, a group in here, a voice group, called the Teetotalers. Um, I'm sorry. No, that's the name of the, the team. Ted Pierce, uh, this is uh, Frank Graham doing the other guy's voice. But uh, Ted Pierce does a voice on here too, which I'm trying to keep an, uh, an ear open for. That actually, that may have been Ted Pierce because Ted does a really good impression of... Um, of Abbott from uh, Abbott and Costello 
Um, Bud Abbott. Um, so yeah, you can kind of hear whenever Ted Pierce does a does a voice, and it may have been that one. This is uh, this is what we do on these commentaries, folks. You listen to a guy who's been watching these cartoons for way too long. Suppose maybe that this fact is so, and that fact is also so. <laughs> Suppositions left and right. <laughs> By the way, that's uh, the Sportsman Quartet that that, uh, that sang that a little bit there. I'm apparently not able to uh, to spot voices of uh, people around the studio, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how you can get that wrong. The name of a singing quartet. I was like, is that them? Yeah, I think it is them. <laughs> Watch me paste this pathetic palooka with a powerful, paralyzing, perfect pachydermis percussion pitch. Pachydermis is a word that needs to uh, not come back, but. Uh, become a thing become a word and i've uh i have uh i've been to walmart i mean we've all been to walmart but i have been to walmart here in atlanta and um there have been many people i have i've had to deal with at walmart who uh could be described as pachydermis all right pachydermis we're going we're going <laughs> Yeah, we're getting up to uh, the part with uh, B. Benaderet. She she does the voice of the uh, the uh, Statue of Liberty here, I think. I could be wrong. Hang on. You're out. I'm out. That's what the man said. You heard what he said. He said that. You heard. That's what you mean. Yep, that's her. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for uh, this week. We'll see you next week. And that's the end.